Okay, in this lesson, uh, we're going to look at how to find the determinant of a uh, matrix using the original definition that was uh, um, that was proved uh, by the mathematician Kramer um, in the early 1700s. And the, the formula that you see, the formula to do this is actually over here. Okay, so we're going to use this formula to find the determinant of A. So the way this works is that um, in this case, remember that I... Right, I refers to the, okay, let me write that here. So I refers to the row number, and J is referring to the column number. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're letting, we're going for, we're taking the summation from J equals 1 to N, and then we're fixing, um, we're going to sweep across the, the columns in row 1. Okay. So for this specific, so for this specific matrix, okay, we have, okay, so we have the summation, in this case, this is a three by, this is a three by three, remember that um, for determinants, uh, the matrix, the matrix for the term to exist, the matrix has to be a square matrix. Okay. All right. So we're going to go from one to three. One. A. I. J. And then take the determinant of the remaining part. All right, so let's start with j equals to 1, okay? For j equals to 1, okay, plug it into here, you're going to end up getting minus 1 squared, okay, a11, and then the determinant of a11. Okay, so that's for j equals 1. Then we have for j equals to 2, For j equals to 2, we get minus 1 to the third power, a12, and the determinant of a12, okay. And for j equals to 3, you have minus 1 to the fourth determinant of, oops, A13 and then determinant of A13. Okay. All right, so we have for, remember this was for J equals to 1. This was for J equals to 2. This was for J equals to 3. All right. Okay, so. Let's start with j equals 1, okay? So we're going to get minus 1 squared. Obviously, that's going to give you 1. a11, okay? So a11, that refers to this position, okay? So that's going to be 1. So it's a positive 1, okay? And that we're going to take that and multiply it by the determinant of a11. So what this means, okay, this is we're going to cover up, okay, so we're going to cover up this row, okay, let me use a different color here, okay, so we're going to look at this, okay, we're going to cover up this corresponding row and this corresponding column, and that will leave you, right, that leaves you with this, with this submatrix, okay, so the determinant of that is what we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that out and then I'll evaluate at the next level. Okay, so we have 1 times the determinant of this. Okay, next one. Okay, so minus 1 cubed. So obviously that's going to be minus 1. A12. Okay. All right, so let me draw them. 
let's go to let's see how can I yeah I'm just gonna draw the matrix here again so I can illustrate this all right all right so for a12 okay that's for the first row second column and we want to right, we want to cross out this first row and the second column and again that reveals okay so that's going to give you the a sub matrix okay so we're going to have a12 that was 5 times the determinant of the sub matrix that 2 minus 1 0 and 0 okay oh, what happened? okay plus uh, negative 1 to the fourth is positive 1 a 1 3 okay so again let me write the matrix here just to illustrate this All right, so there's the A13 position. So that's going to be one times zero times the determinant of the sub matrix. Cross out this one, cross out this one. Okay, so you're gonna be left with the determinant of two, four, zero, minus two. Okay, so we know how to find, right? We know how to find the determinant of two by two. Okay, so we can apply that here now. Okay, so the determinant of this, okay. right? You remember, it's just four times zero minus negative two times negative one. So that's going to give you minus two. Plus, oops, plus. Okay, this is going to be minus five. Times the determinant of this. So that's going to be two times zero minus zero times negative one. That will be zero. And then plus this one so we get plus zero times so two times minus two okay negative four minus zero so that's going to leave you with negative four okay so so we get minus two minus zero plus two plus zero so that gives you minus two so that is the determinant of the matrix A. So this is a really nice formula. Um, it was later discovered that uh, Kramer, along with some other mathematicians, uh, that you could actually use same, the same approach for any column or for any row. And I'm going to illustrate that on the next example. Okay.